reporting and dashboards now. Uh, let me tell you that so far we've had this query object and what we've done in the latest versions is to add more functionalities to the query object. One of them is to uh, use the um, to date uh, um, variable. It seems CC, but we hadn't got it. And so now here you make make a query, use this KB of uh, complaints of people in, in a city, for instance. So we want to know the number of complaints per description so far up to today. And so in the filters, you have to put the date and you say the same or or less than today. Uh, what the query does is on the basis of the complaint that uh, are from a date uh, um, before today, it would Okay, there it is. That's the date. And the date has to be the same or equal uh, the, the equal or less than today. And when you go to the preview, if you look at the number, it's changed because it was ask, it's what's looking into all the complaints. And now it's up to today. It's 47 and it goes down to 26 now. It used to be 47. If you look at the interface of the query object, which was shown on a table, that's also changed in this version. We have modified the aesthetics of the graphs, of the um, tables, and uh, also the little menu to, to be able to export uh, queries. All that has changed, and it's improved quite a lot. Now, something that is quite useful for all of us is that that same aesthetics is linked to the theme object. You can associate classes in the theme object. You can create your own uh, classes to create uh, to change the aesthetic. So everything is integrated in the app. You can move with a better aesthetic to all our queries, applying what we've already got in our key B, KB. Another interesting clause that we've added in this object it's to be able to use the for each clause in the query object. What we're going to have here is an indicator. The indicator is the number of complaints, and uh, we are going to analyze it in a different dimension. The original uh, query was, well, the number of queries per year. And so we'd say the number of complaints in 2017, 2018. But I said, I don't want to see that only. I want to see the number of complaints per year, but broken down according to the type of complaints. So I would do a for each and type of uh, complaint. And uh, what it does is making this query. And what it's going to show me is what uh, you can see here for 2017 and 2018 for the three types of uh, complaints. It's parks, um, traffic signals, and, uh, um, and traffic lights. Here it shows 4, 10, and 3. And it breaks it down in that way. So we are placing this one single indicator divided into different dimensions. Any questions? No? All right. So this is, a, this is very powerful in the query object so that we can make more complex queries. And now we're moving into the main object created in this query, in this version, I'm sorry, which is the dashboard object. It's a new object. You'll find it in the reporting. So apart from query, you ha you'll have dashboards. You've probably known them. Uh, it's a screen where you have different uh, queries with different indicators, and you modify the filters. Uh, so you'll get an image of our company, and it's good to be able to make uh, decisions in your companies. So, uh, so far, if I tell you about it, you'll say we've, uh, we were already doing it. We had web panel uh, objects, query objects. We would place a different query object in through programming. We could ha follow that logic. Now, we're going to do it now, but we're going to do it in a much easier way. Instead of, be, of having to program, we're going to make it in a, as a sort of statement. Now, what are the main advantages? You won't need any programming will drag queries to the dashboard object, will define some properties in each one of those queries. We're going to say what the configurations are, and in that way, we'll have our own dashboard. Now, what will be a, what will we be able to put in in dashboard query, filters, text, to be able to order it and uh, make um, graphs look um, um, uh, nicer? or anything that you would like to place in your um, 
presentation. Now it has live editing. As you define a dashboard and you add a query, uh, you have the database created. And if you have dashboard, a dashboard there, you'll see it automatically as a result of the query. So you'll have the filters. When changing the filters, uh, your query will be refreshed and uh, you'll be able to see exactly the same in execution. So you are testing that uh, that's going to be seen in execution. Now the difference is that uh, you will have it in the testing, but but um, then it's going to be production. But you'll be able to define the aesthetics, the colors, uh, fonts, and so on. Now the dashboard object is not an executable. Uh, Object. It doesn't execute on itself. We are going to have a dashboard viewer. Uh, so we're going to create a web panel where we're going to put the dashboard viewer, user control, and we're going to associate the dashboard there. And that's how we'll be able to use it. So let me show you how it works. Once you've created the dashboard object, you're going to have two areas. One area is for queries. The other one is for filters. Now, in this case, you have two areas, but that could be personalized, and you can say how many areas you'd like to have, whether you'd like to have two rows, uh, three. I mean, you can personalize it. You can indicate what you want, whether you want the filters to be at the top or at the on the right-hand side, at, at the bottom. Um, you can put in a text, as I said just now, you know, a title. Um, you've got all those functionalities to start personalizing it. But this, this is just the beginning. This is the way you... Uh, you put it in, that's at the top, and uh, that's the title. We've got an option here. This dashboard, uh, you, you can, you can um, instruct the dashboard to be refreshed every uh, X uh, time. It's the frequency, and you'll get the information every, according to the frequency you've established. Once you've defined the first part, what you have to do is to put in the queries. Now, I've got a query with three parameters. One is the year, the description of the complaint, and uh, uh, the, the reason. And I'll drag it to the query area. Once I drag it, uh, automatically, GeneXus will define the parameters because it knows that uh, that query had three parameters. Apart from that, automatically, it realized that the parameter I've got goes on the um, attribute reason description, and it's a dynamic combo, and it's taken the values of that dynamic combo. The same thing has been done with the type of complaints. Is it for parks, um, traffic lights, traffic signals? Now, it hasn't done it for the year because in my transaction, I haven't saved the year but the date, so it doesn't know what the values are. So I'm going to do something different to be able to upload it. But as you can see, there is a lot of logics that you don't have to think about it. GeneXus does it automatically. GeneXus has identified them. Now, depending on the type of data, I would say whether it's a dynamic combo, is it an edit field, and that follows the same logic. There are going to be um, radio buttons, uh, sliders, and other options that I can't think of right now, but there are several fields uh, to, to place the filters. That's... Some of those are some of the options. Now, what we would do here is to start personalizing it, you know, to make it look nicer. So what we're going to do is to stand here. You see this is blue because that's the one I am, and this one is in green. I don't know if you can see it, but it means that if I stand on a filter and it's green, uh, well, it's going to tell me how many consultations, how, how, how many queries apply. You're going to see it in the in practice. You're going to see the, 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 um, the, the filter, and whenever you make a change in the filter, you will see that every change here will modify to this and will apply to this, this, and that, because you may have different filters on the screen that don't apply to all the queries that you've got on the dashboard. So what I've just done is to change the name because uh, by default it's the description that attribute had. And so I'm changing that. You see it says a dynamic combo there. And uh, here 
it takes the values. It's going to be changing it on. It does the same for this one. It's a description. It takes the values that's going to upload it. And for the case of the year, it's an edit field. And so what I'm going to do is to change it. Instead of saying it's an edit, um, well, I'm going to have a combo box, and I'm going to put fixed values. In this case, I decided it was going to be two years, and I enter that manually. It could be done otherwise. You know, I could have a table of years and uh, load it. But just to show you a different example. Now, in this case, let me show it on the screen. If we choose the reason, now, descriptions are related to reasons. I didn't put it there, but you can define a condition whereby uh, you select a query or a complaint, you will be shown the valid ones. In the practice course, you'll see it and you'll be explained how to do it. Now, as you can see, this has a, a lot of power. You, we can make all these definitions straight away. Once you've defined the web panel uh, to which we've associated the dashboard viewer and we place that dashboard, we're going to see it in this way in execution. We've got the years here. I've changed the order. Here is the year. This is the reason. This is the description. This is I've changed it. Instead of leaving it as a dynamic combo, it's like a ra radio button. Since the options were fixed, it was much better if it looked like a radio button. And uh, as I'm as I change, this changes, and it shows me the graphs. Although we may have four different formats, they are all queries, but I said that the exit was different. Now, this is a car exit. This is also a car exit, but uh, with other defined characteristics or features. This is telling me all the complaints this year, and these are the complaints until today and which is the maximum and the minimum of complaints. And it gives me a graph, and I said, I've got 30, now I've got four until now, but the maximum I've had in one day was 12, you know, something that perhaps, you know, a traffic light uh, uh, broke down and everyone uh, complained, and it's showing me the graphs. Now, this shows me exactly the same, but uh, dividing it in as a pie according to the type of uh, complaints. So the same query with two different um, ways of showing it. And here it breaks it down and say, these people, how many times have they complained along the year? How many times have they reported things? And what we can see there is that there are certain people who are engaged with society and are reporting things that are wrong to, to help um, improve everyone's lives for everyone's well-being. Now, this is the main thing about Dashboard. There are many more properties, many, many more. As I said, uh, we simply leave aside programming. The only thing was to put in queries on the screen, and on that basis, we define filters, and that's it. Well, good morning. Um, my question, have you got a, a, an option so that this dashboard can have a button? Uh, because generally, I've got uh, queries, users change them. But can, can I print it? So, you know, well, the right person is going to answer that, and that's the developer, Gustavo Martinez. Well, the tables uh, on the right-hand side, uh, you know, you can export it to PDF straight away. Is that what you were asking for? No, he's got, he wants everything. Ah, okay, uh, you want it all. It's just a photograph. No. Print screen? No. <laughs> yeah, well, no, we, we don't have it, but it could be good. We can take it into account. Yes, it hasn't got it so far. I work of, uh, I have got a workflow applying to all the company for complaints at uh, a national um, level, consumers, and then it goes to administration, quality. It's quite complex, but the quality people uh, do its analysis, and it has to submit reports to the boss, and I've got the graphs and everything. But that, uh, Well, you want a print screen of all, all right? Okay, we're going to take that into account. Yes, why not? Yeah. All right, we take up your suggestions. If we wanted any programming, could we do it? What kind of programming? Um, well, the filters. Well, 
Uh, this is similar. It's a query that may have a query object behind. It could be a data provider. There are no restrictions there. It's just the same. You would uh, upload the, cure, the query viewer. Uh, you l upload it with a data provider or a query.